Greetings everyone. This evening we're going to talk about animas, also known as anal douching. Now, to those of you who enjoy trips to the back door, you, kn you may have noticed that on occasion things may get a little sticky, and that's never pleasant. Now, one option you may choose is to use an anal douche, also known as an anima. Um, I'll insert a photo here. You can imagine how these are used. You insert them, squirt, and let everything rinse out and it takes all that stuff with it. These can be very helpful. However, yes, they do take the spontaneity out of sex. And doing this too often can wash away essential bacteria in your lower intestine and colon. It is something you, you one, definitely should not do every time. And two, um, I'll, I'll look it up and I'll um, insert it in the doobly-doo. Um, it's actually doctor recommended that you only do it so many times per month or per year. Because you, you need the gook that's in there. That's a gross way to say it, but it's true, you know. It'd be like swallowing mouthwash to clean out your tonsils and throat all the time. It's, it wouldn't bother you too much the first few times, but after a while, all this would be torn up and raw. You can't do it too often. Or, or I guess, no, that, that sounds bad. You can do it too often. If you do it too often, there will be dire consequences. Plus, you know, there are natural lubricants and whatnot that your body produces that, you know, you just strip. You're you basically stripping your insides. Um, I find that a, a decent alternative is a healthy diet. Now, different foods affect different people different ways, so I can't say which foods you should eat to avoid a sticky situation. But like me, for example, red meats gum me up. Um, you know, don't eat three bean burritos and a chalupa before you do the do just common sense sort of stuff and maintain a high fiber diet so that you have regular bowel movements because if you're going regularly then there's less there's a le lower likelihood of an accident I'm not saying enemas are evil heck Everything has its place. And hell, sometimes they're just fun. I mean, I, um, I once used one that was connected to the shower. You just pop it in and, oh God, warm water up there. Sometimes it, it feels amazing. But, you know, if, if you do it all the time, it'll lead to serious health issues. So, um, be careful. Take care of yourself and each other. Peace and love.